meet the residents of Element City. <laughs> Definitely spider related. We will give our enemies an opening. Let me make you an offer. What's up guys? Today I've got my hands on the Emotion N1 LED video projector. Now this is a native full HD video projector supporting HDR10. It's priced around 399 and has official Netflix HD licensing. Lamp life is 30,000 hours. Brightness is 500 ANSI lumens. We have a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. You've got native 1920 by 1080 resolution supporting HDR10. The OS is Linux OS. We've got 5 GHz Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0. This projector supports autofocus and auto keystone correction. Maximum optimal screen size is 300 inches. And this does have 2 times 5 watt speakers built in supporting Dolby Audio. So the projector is quite compact in size. It's made completely from plastic, finished in white. Now on the front you can see the lens and infrared for remote control. On top there is a single button and Emotion logo. Nothing on the side. And on the back we've got our connections. So we've got power socket, full size USB A port, HDMI input so you can hook up your favorite game console or even an external TV box. We've got an ethernet port and we have an audio jack. If we keep going, nothing on this side. And that brings us back to the front. And here is a quick look at the bottom of the projector. So there is a tripod thread in case you wanted to hook this up to a tripod. And there is a built-in stand as well for some elevation should you need it. And inside the box, you get user manuals, power adapter, a power supply and a, and a remote control. Got shortcuts for Netflix, Prime and YouTube. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is test out that fan noise. So standing right next to the projector, you can expect a fan noise of around 41 decibels. And if we move back one meter, that fan noise drops down to around 36 decibels. The projector is around three meters away from the wall in front of us, and we're projecting just over 90 inches. We've got a very interesting layout with a whole bunch of icons. You can see Netflix, YouTube, YouTube Kids. We've got a web browser, Prime Video, and an app store. And we also have screencasting and Bluetooth speaker option. So you can use this projector as a Bluetooth speaker. First of all, let's head over to the main system settings. If I go to setup, you can see the OSD languages and I'll quickly skim through them and show you what's available. So that's actually quite a lot of languages included. Um, what else do we have? So we've got time setup, screensaver, sleep timers, auto sleep. We've got upgrade options via USB. We've got internet update options, which I'll quickly check. Okay, and then you've got reset to default. Now under picture mode, and we've got some presets, we've got standard, vivid, sports, cinema, and custom. And custom will let you fine tune things exactly to your own personal preference. But for now, I'm gonna leave it on standard and go back. You've got audio options, so you can specifically customize the bass and treble. You've got virtual surround sound, and then you have some presets. So we've got standard sports, movie, and music. We've got digital audio output mode, so it's set on automatic and it does support PCM, Dolby Digital and Dolby Digital Plus. And you've got a feature called Dialog Enhancement. And under projection, you can see different layouts that you can choose depending on how you're gonna set up your projector. Now under network, I just wanna quickly show you that this does support five gigahertz Wi-Fi. Furthermore, we've got Keystone Correction and it is automatic, but if you wanna manually do things, you've got the option to do so. Um, you've got advanced options for automatic correction on motion. I've got that off at the moment. Zoom, so if your wall is not big enough and the image is overlapping to the ceiling, you can reduce the image right down. So that's 50%. We don't have that issue, so I'm gonna leave it at 100%. Now, focus adjustment, it's set on automatic and the automatic focus is very good. I just hit automatic focus and it's readjusting itself. And there is also a focus adjustment button on the remote, so if you press this middle button, and it will bring up the focus adjustment. It will automatically adjust things, but you can also press up and down and fine tune things yourself. Now, let me also quickly mention the remote control is very responsive. It is a Bluetooth remote control, so you don't even have to aim this at the projector. You can aim it any direction and it works fine. So very nice, responsive remote control. And we have Bluetooth options in case you want to connect your own Bluetooth sound system. Now let's test out some of these internal apps. I want to try Screencast first of all to see how well this works. Any second now, our screen should be mirrored. And you can see that our screen has successfully mirrored. 
screen mirroring is working absolutely fine on this device. Now one of the major selling points of this box is the fact that it's Netflix certified. So it looks like this device does support full HD Netflix with 5.1 sound, which is quite good. So next up, we're gonna play a whole bunch of trailers on YouTube. You will give our enemies an opening. Okay, so now it's time to switch over to the HDMI source and we are connecting to the PlayStation 5. Okay, and a quick look at video output information. So you can see resolution is 1080p at 60 hertz and HDR is not supported. So there you have it guys, that was the Emotion N1. So let's bring up the pros and cons. This projector does many things right. Projection quality is very good. Brightness, contrast and colors all look good. And you have many customization options in relation to video and audio settings, letting you tweak to your own personal preference. Now the speaker volume is very loud, but it's not as clear as I would have liked. And the presets don't really help, and amongst explosions and other sound effects, it's hard to make out the vocals of actors. So sound separation is not quite there, so I guess I would be using my own sound system with this projector. The Linux OS works very well, it almost looks exactly like an Android OS. All the apps work great, screen mirroring works great, Netflix, Certified HD, Prime, YouTube, all working great, and letting you stream 1080 with HDR from all apps. Now, when you connect a game console like PlayStation 5, it lets you game at the native 1080p resolution, but unfortunately, HDR is not supported via the HDMI port. So you're gaming at 1080p resolution without HDR, but at 60 hertz. Nevertheless, I still enjoyed playing PS5 games on this. It still looked amazing playing 1080p games on a massive 100 inch display, and I did not experience any noticeable input lag either. Now the major letdown for me for this projector is the fan noise. It just got louder and louder to the point where it was difficult to hear my voice in some of those voiceover scenes. 
Now I always film right next to the projector so that's why you can hear the fan noise quite loud but this one was louder than anything I've tested so far. So if you're thinking of picking up the Emotion 1 just make sure you have it mounted to the ceiling and away at least one meter away from you then you may not be affected by the fan noise. Now to sum this one up here is my top performing video projector chart for 2023 allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest projectors and the projectors are ranked by projection quality and overall features. And as you can see the Emotion N1 has taken position 14 on this chart based on the overall performance of this projector. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and sub and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.